Hello everyone, Rain here and welcome back to Homeworld and look at this thing. What is this? You might ask, well, you you will not ask that because you already know. It's a tier 2 rocket. I decided why would I spend an entire episode building this rocket when I already have all the materials? It took just a little bit of boring crafting, a little bit of getting fuel for the boosters and all of that. And here it is. Tier 2. To rocket all ready to go to Mars I didn't even load any fuel into fuel loader it already had enough to fully refuel this one and this one will take me to Mars I think so I have the same things with me as I brought with me on the moon so I have everything I need to teleport back and forth I've got Rose Quartz, Jasper, and a couple of Rubies, and also I'm gonna bring this energy cell. Unfortunately, I don't have enough materials to build another Flux Point, so I'm gonna bring this one with me for now. But I'm probably gonna bring it back as well, and I'm just gonna keep this energy cell on Mars for the time being. I think 2 million Redstone Flux should be enough. So, this is it. Are you ready for launch? Oh, I sure am ready. Well, actually, no, I don't know. I don't know what's waiting for me on Mars, but uh, hopefully, hopefully I'm ready. I've got everything to teleport back. I've got energy to do it as well. And I've got things to deal with hostile aliens. So three, two, one, launch. And as you can see, I've got some beautiful walls on this side as well. So this whole thing looks a lot better and here we go away from the planet earth once again and into the deep reaches of space okay almost there so far so good and there we go there we go all right so destination is mars hopefully i can reach it with this amount of fuel i mean it's a hundred percent loaded, so I should be able to. Okay, taking one giant leap, and there we go. Actually, what the heck am I? What the heck is that? Even what is this ball? What? What the heck? I'm not sure why I'm landing like this. What the heck is that ball? Okay, I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that at all, but here we are. I landed somehow. I still don't know what the heck this thing is, but whatever. It must be some kind of a super advanced landing shuttle. And here we are. Actually, it's nighttime and there's a... Wow, there's a lot of mobs in here. Here we are on Mars. So let's set up a base, which will be really hard to do while there is so many monsters around. Hmm. But I have no idea when it's gonna be daytime. It might take quite a lot of time. Look at this. Some ice in here. That maybe I can even turn into water. Yes, there we go. Water on Mars, everybody. Okay, okay, this skeleton. Though. This hostile alien skeleton wants to be annoying. Evolved skeleton. I think... I think they might even be a bit more evolved than skeletons on the moon. Invalid thermal protection. What? Okay, this is not good. I don't know what that means. So let me quickly set everything up. Okay, there we go. Energy cell. And this thing. And I want for you to give energy to everything. Okay, to every single side. There we go. Good, good. So now... Now, this is Mars 1. I really don't know what it means, so I'm gonna just quickly set it all up. Mars 2, that's it. Doesn't matter, receiver, transmitter, whatever. For now, let's just make sure that if something bad happens here, I can always come back. Okay, invalid thermal protection. Hmm. Hmm, I guess I can maybe craft something for thermal protection? But I didn't... I was not informed that I need any kind of special thermal protection. What the heck? Thermal padding helm. 
Okay, thermal cloth from wool and redstone. Okay, that's quite easy. Actually, I already see some effects happening. Some very bad effects. Okay, dial once. There we go. I'm out of here. For now, just my field of view changed, actually. And I think I'm a bit slower as well. So, yeah, let's get out of here. And let's make some of that thermal protection. So, I hope I can make it using any wool, right? Yes, good, good, good. Well, in that case... In that case... Where are my shears? Oh, actually, I have them in my inventory. Because I needed to get some yellow wool a little bit earlier from another sheep for something galactic craft related but in any case yeah i've got plenty of sheep in here with all kinds of colors of wool so i can easily make this thermal protection but i really didn't know that i will need anything like that okay well now i know now i know and it's a good thing that i was able to quickly teleport back here okay so i think that wool should be enough to craft this thermal protection gear what is, what is it called again galactic craft let's see let's see uh there we go thermal padding okay and i will need one to okay just one from each recipe i'm just gonna make as much of it as i can i guess seven Okay, more. Eight. Okay, wool. Just get over here. That's it. Fifteen is as much as I can craft. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be enough. No, I actually still have some wool. So I'm not sure why I didn't craft some more. I guess it's because it's in my inventory. But in any case, let's do it manually. It will be a lot faster that way. Okay, five more. There we go. Still not enough though, still a little bit not enough. I need just a tiny little bit more for this. And then we're good. Then we are gonna be good. So let's take a look at the sheep once again. Maybe I just missed a few of them, who knows. I wasn't very thorough while cutting their wool. Because I really thought that would be enough, but no. This... Thermal protection gear actually requires quite a lot of wool. So let's pick up as much of it as I can. I'm not even sure if I need to craft the full set. Like, obviously, before this very moment, I wasn't even aware that I will need to craft anything for thermal protection. But I think those individual pieces might provide a little bit of thermal protection. So maybe even having just three pieces which i which is something i already crafted maybe even that would have been enough i don't know but let's play it safe and let's craft as much of it as possible so there we go that's a bit more of it and uh okay and another one that should be enough let's see oh my gosh yes wait i still Mm, do I still have some thermal clothing in the system? I think I had. In any case, I have three leftover thermal clothing if I need any. So that's nice. Actually, let's see if I will ever need any. Hmm. Well, yes, there are some recipes in extra planets that require this thing. But I don't think I will need it anytime soon. So, time to go back to Mars. Dial once, and here we go. Now I'm ready. Unless there's some other kind of thermal protection that I needed. No, everything seems to be fine. So this little thingy on the left of the oxygen is thermal level, whatever. And it seems to be stable now. It seems to be really, really stable. And it was just going down before, so that's nice. Now, I don't really want to get lost on Mars. So let's quickly make a make a waypoint. I guess just landing zone once again. There we go. Good. Okay, so uh, monsters are burning now and I want to take another look at this weird shuttle. What the heck? Landing balloons. 
Why? Hmm, I guess the atmosphere of Mars is very different, so maybe for some reason I needed to use those landing balloons. I did not expect that, but in any case, yeah, I guess I'm gonna keep Rocket with me. I'm gonna drop it off at my base as soon as I can. And let's take a look at the aliens here. So, Mars... Hmm, I thought someone had Mars in their name. Maybe it was Skeleton. But those guys are definitely a lot tougher. No, that was actually me looking at the ground. But I think those evolved monsters are more evolved than monsters on the moon. And this is... Even that should be very easy. It, it, all of these monsters are very easy compared to whatever I will face in some other planets out there. Now, I'm not gonna summon any of my gems just yet. I think I'm gonna save them for... Well, for some dungeon, because I assume there are some dungeons in here. Hello there. I think I'm just gonna quickly go back once again. Wait a second, no, 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 this is... this is a wrong connection. <laughs> Connecting Mars to Mars. This is not a good idea. This is just a waste of energy. So, I'm gonna go back real quick. Gonna drop my rocket. Add my refined storage. Make sure it's all safe. It's all good. And then... I can go and explore Mars. Okay, so there we go. A uh, rocket. And also landing gear. I don't need that. Thanks to the power of teleportation. And now, we're going back to Mars. That's right, to explore it. So, I don't know what's waiting for me on Mars. I think it might be the same thing as on the moon. Like, there are some villages around and maybe some dungeons. But I'm not sure yet. And so, for now, I want to explore the, the moon, <laughs> I wanted to say. I want to explore the Mars without knowing. Later on, if I don't find anything, I'm probably gonna go and read up some information about it, gonna read some guide on how to find the dungeon to make tier 3 rocket or whatever I need. But for now, I just wanna fly around and I think, I think today we landed on the Mars. Oh, look at my thermal protection gear on me as well. <laughs> Looking good. And that's, that's Earth everyone. We did it! We landed on Mars today and in the next episode I'm gonna actually explore this planet. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video.